Chicago is the largest city in the U.S. state of Illinois. Some of the things it is famous for are pizza, gangsters, and sports. This is Wrigley Field, home to the Chicago Cubs, Chicago's oldest baseball team. Many American people call Chicago the second city because for a hundred years, it had the second biggest population in the country. It was smaller than New York, but until the 1980s, it was bigger than every other American city. Today, Chicago is a very popular tourist destination. Every year, over 30 million people visit the city. They go to the Millennium Park, the newest park in Chicago. They walk along the shore of Lake Michigan, the second largest of the five Great Lakes. And they admire the view from the top of the Willis Tower. The Willis Tower used to be called the Sears Tower. And for 25 years, it was the tallest building in the world. In 1969, Sears Roebuck & Company, the largest department store chain in the world at that time, built the tower to use as office blocks. Today, the skyscraper is one of the most popular tourist attractions in the city. It is still the tallest skyscraper in the U.S., but it isn't as tall as the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, or the Patronus Twin Towers in Kuala Lumpur. Chicago's other famous nickname is the Windy City. People say that it is windier than other major cities, but weather experts disagree. In fact, scientists predict that Chicago will have a very different climate in the future. They say that it won't be as cold and windy as it is now, but will be warmer and wetter. This will mean many changes, but Chicago is further ahead than most other cities in its preparations for climate change. The city is constructing new, environmentally friendly buildings, planning more parks and green areas, and placing big hedges alongside the city's pathways. Chicago is also investing in new roads and car parks for electric cars. Chicago is a changing city. The Windy City's famous climate is going to become much warmer. Chicago will be a hotter, more tropical place than it is today. This will cause problems, but at the moment, America's second city is one of the first places to properly deal with pollution and climate change. <laughs>